Welcome to our Christmas sew along. I'm going to sew a really cute apron here with you and we are going to port the little snowman from the tree skirt pattern on it but you could put anything else on it that you like as well. And as the pattern we're using the classic apron which you can get in the academy or at foxandfrolics.com or if you have your own you can just use that. And this is the tree skirt pattern that I'm going to be using. It's a really, really cool way to get to know Frogs and Frolics as well. If you haven't, um, you know, made anything with our patterns before, then, you know, getting this would be a good way of checking us out. And then we're going to just use those templates for the snowman, which we're going to apply on there. And this is the tree skirt actually I made last year. So let's have a look at the little pattern. This is the template that we need. So you better get that printed off and ready to go. And I'm going to use number E and F for the tree skirt as well. And this is just a quick flick through the pattern. So this is what you typically get with a Frogs and Frolics pattern. You get instructions as to how to assemble the pattern, your fabric requirements, various charts. If it's closed, of course, you've got loads more charts. I <laughs> haven't got very many here. Then a page which explains just everything about your pattern to you. A lay plan which I think is really important so that you know how to cut things out you might have multiple lay plans as well then here I have got a page showing you how to use the pillow under which is the stuff that we are going to work with for the applique in a minute and then you've got a few pages for this one obviously with diagrams and photographs of the process on how to make it and I'd like to finish with always like kind of showing you what we're doing in the Facebook group at the time it's nice to look back on as well and if you want to put something else like a different template on your apron you can do that as well we've got the handmade Christmas course in the academy and it's got like little Wichtel and stars and gingerbread men and you could just put that on the technique will stay the same Templates are obviously different and those are free as well and look here we've got the reindeer make sure that you check that out so that you don't miss out on all the Christmas sewing and here we can see them next to each other we've got the classic apron on the left and then on the right the apron we are going to make so you can see on the left we bind around the edge that's the classic apron and we've also got a full set of videos for that for you and on the right you can see I'm going to insert a ruffle all the way around and I'm doing that because binding or that fluff would be really really hard and also quite like the ruffle the pattern needs to be cut on the fold and these arrows you see here those double arrows they are um, the sign for cutting on the fold and if you need to know a little bit more about how to cut this all out I would recommend that you watch the standard video for the classic apron first so here are all my pattern pieces I've got the front and the lining and I've got facing the facing will go behind and will bind the edge but and this is where this is a little bit different I actually want to use the same fabric for the pocket as I do for the main fabric so I need to create an extra pattern piece and I do that by just drawing around the lining because I don't want the curve for where the hand goes into the pocket yeah so I draw around that and then I take my facing and I put that on top Just draw along here. There we go. And that will be the additional pattern piece that you don't have with a pattern. But it's really, really easy to make. And I, I would keep that as well because it's a good one to have. And you can use that over and over. So I cut that out and I shall mark it as well with um, what it is. So I'm going to write on pocket. So don't forget. And maybe even put an arrow on it if you want to pocket facing so now I've got all my pieces sorted out the only thing that's different is this part so I'm only showing you how to cut out this little bit here you can see how to cut out the country apron in the standard video you know like your base video really so just cut around it make sure that you've got two mirror image because that's what we need and cutting all the way around and then we're ready and we can go on to cutting out all the rest there we go all done 
Now I've already stepped ahead here and I've already cut it all out, what I'll be needing for it. Like I said, please go to the other videos to see how that's done in more detail. We've also got some bias bindings. So in this, I'm going to show you how to do super duper couture bias binding. It's really good and it is quite easy. And then we have got all the felt and the different colors that you can see here. I'm also need brown and black matching thread and a little bit of fluff just rests will probably do. Um, I didn't have to go out and get anything else. One more thing that we need to prepare with our pattern is if you want to put the snow on, you'll see that the little snowman is slightly higher than the big snowman. And if you're not sure how to do the pell on and you want to read it as well as just see it, then please read that page in your pattern again. So this is the Pellon under. It's got a film on one side and paper on the other. And we're simply just going to trace through everything that has the same color. And what I would do as well is I'd like to put two cups in there uh, on your table. And then I would put everything for the small snowman in one cup and everything for the big snowman into the other one. And there we go. So we're just going to cut this out and then literally move around. So this is for the big snowman. That's the big white one. Everything here is already mirror image because um, if you're doing this with something else that is not prepared for you like this, you need to make sure that you do it mirror image, which is a little bit hassly because you have to like trace whatever you're doing through to the other side and then trace that again. But I've already done that so you don't have to. And put everything like really, really close to each other. There we go. And you don't waste any of this stuff because it's so, so expensive. And I remember when I was a school teacher, my students that you like, <laughs> they'd go right in the center of the bonder web and then they throw the rest in the bin. So in the end, I used to like cut out like little squares for them and just hand those out. So of course they'd lose those and then say, oh, miss, can I have the roll? And I'd let them go to the roll and they would do exactly the same. It doesn't matter how much I warned them. <laughs> So what you want to do is be very frugal with this. I'm just going to do the little snowman. Draw around that as well. There we go. It's a bit more wide and you can see I move it really close together. Great. I'll go around this. And that is that done. Lastly, I'll cut out my tree and um, now I'm ready to apply this part here to my front of apron and I'm using E and F because I thought that would look the best. So cut out E and F and the thing though that's different of course is that you've got like a curve on your tree skirt and this curve obviously you don't have in the apron so we need to now make it so that the curve disappears so cut it out first there we go like that and this is the same as when you like do um a uh, a sleeve and you want it puffier what you do is you snip it and you just broaden it out and in this case we want exactly the opposite we want it to come down straight so what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip in here at intervals and then I can just like you know push it down so as you can see here I'll push it down and then I just put some sellotape across it to hold it in place And now I can just draw through the pattern. I could also like just put it over the top, but I can see really well through it. What I did do wrong here is I forgot about the seam allowance. So I should have added that at that point, not to the sides, just to the bottom, because you can see it's really, really slim. So I just added it when I cut it out later. But if you're doing this now, you want to like add that centimeter to the lower part.
when you cut this out, you need to make very sure that you actually have the right side facing up and not the wrong side because you're going to put the pattern piece straight on it as you want it to be seen later on as well. And then you cut it out all the way around and you can see I've left a one centimeter seam allowance at the bottom there. And it can take the pins out and now I can put this onto the little apron. It's so cute. I really do love this. It's a lot of work and maybe putting a few stars on is easier and some ribbon, but I love it. Now I'm going to iron my bonderweb or pelon under onto the respective felts in the right color and I make sure that I don't waste any here either so I fiddle around a bit until I get the best out because felt can last me years I don't need to throw it out I'll just keep it for next year when we're doing something else and you need to leave it on to the count of eight approximately so quite a long time most felt will not melt or anything so don't worry about that it's uh, quite good and also somebody asked me yes you can wash this stuff it's not as um good of course it won't last forever but you're not going to wash this um, apron very much are you so you're only using it at christmas and it can come out next year and the year after and now we're going to do the red And do this as well. And if you guys want like a longer version and I want to like see everything and myself, you can pop back on Facebook and you can actually watch the sew along. This is like the glamour sew along so that you um, have it really quick. You don't want to sit there for hours really. So you could do that as well and have a little check out. Everything is really, really slowly explained there as well. We're taking it step by step and this is a little bit faster going through. So I've done my red now too. And then next I'm going to do my tree, I think it is. Yes, here it is. We'll take the grain and we're going to iron that on and cut that out as well. And while we're going, we're going to do other pieces as well. So I'm always putting something else under the iron and go to the next thing so that I'm not losing the will to live because there's so many little pieces and it takes so long. Now that I've ironed everything on, we can cut out all the little pieces and again have two cups, one for the big snowman, one for the small snowman. I was forever looking for mine, they were on the floor, they were absolutely everywhere. <laughs> so learn your lesson from me and then you cut it out. Now one thing for the cutting out to mention here is that when you try to peel the paper off it's like ever so difficult if you don't do this little trick. If you had to do this for every single piece, it'll drive you crazy. You never will want to do this again. So what you want to do, and this is the trick, is to actually lift the paper halfway off first so you have something to pull on, then put it back down and then cut your piece out. At which point now, look at that, I can just take that paper totally easy and just peel it off and that makes it ever so quick. And now I'm going to just do that with all the pieces, like individually, like do one piece, lift it off, cut it out and then lift off for the next piece, you know, because you don't want the paper accidentally to come off totally, right? Also, maybe a little embroidery scissor <laughs> might be better. I'm always using the big scissor for everything, but don't take my lead there. You can use a tiny little scissor that I do too, and I'll peel that off as well. So basically what we're going to do is prepare all of this and just peel them all off, cut them all out and then that's it. Then we're literally prepared for sewing and how it all goes on is what I'll show you in the next video. Um, if you are watching this video then I assume you can just pop on to the next video. You don't need to wait until we do it live because that's a different video. So you can watch the live version um, and you can watch it also after the event or you can just carry on with this if you're all ready to go or raring to go. Just move on to the next video where I shall show you how it's all put on and it is 
darn cute, I tell you. I absolutely love this. I know it's a lot of bits and pieces and you will go, oh, I don't want to cut all this stuff out, but it's so nice. You can get your kids to help you as well, not the really small kids. It'll be so much fun to put it together with them then put it all on, iron it on, and then you just go to the sewing machine and just sew it on. So we're having a lot planned from bias binding to uh, making the whole apron. So carry on with the next video and I shall see you there. Bye for now.